Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and you can say that this is for the next seven days, from the date that you watch it, okay? So, this just came a rolling out, career. So, your career may be your main focus in the next seven days. Let's see what else we can get. Flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards, Gemini. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Interesting. So you may be put in a position where from somebody that, you know, is not up to par. This person is not up to par. They're not up to your, they're not in your league, okay? Don't, don't lower your standards. And this may have to do with a job. It may have to do with a job situation, you know, or a position. You know, you, maybe you deserve more. Maybe you deserve something more. Maybe you, maybe you deserve more money. Maybe you deserve more respect. This could also have to do with a relationship, okay? If you're single, do not lower your standards during this time. You are obviously going to be uh, propositioned in some way by somebody that is not in your league, okay? Mm. They have done this before and they will continue to do so. Hmm. A message is coming that you do not want to hear. It's interesting because Taurus got that as well. So a message is coming that you don't want to hear. One more, please. Ooh. They have serious regrets for hurting you. Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. Interesting. I don't know if you've worked with this person before. Do not be tempted to lower your standards there, Gemini. Know your value, know your worth. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Next seven days. <sighs> the Empress. The Empress. This is the birth of a new life. It's the birth of, it's a rebirth, okay? It's beautiful. Okay, you're dealing with an, either you are an Empress or you're dealing with an Empress. This would be a Taurus or a Libra. Could it also be your energy because it's in your reading. You may be giving birth to a new life. You may, there could be news of a birth. This is a renewal. Um, this is unconditional love. This is beautiful. It is beautiful. Abundant. Um, there's a lot of love. There's love in the air here. There is love in the air. You're going to be getting some attention. There could be a reunion between a mother and a child. There could even be a get-together with, with a family. Um, Empress. This is a mother. It's unconditional love. A mother, A mother's love. So there's something to do with a mother here. Something to do with a mother. Give me a hug. I don't know if there's, for some of you, there's like a reconciliation of some sort. Very, very happy. There's, there's a lot of happiness. This is, this is like, I don't know if we have a reunion here. If you're going to some sort of reunion or if there's a reunion here. Definitely a lot of happiness. Some of you are, de are dealing with somebody that is very, very domestic. You know, there's a lot of love here, unconditional love. We have somebody here that does everything with love. And there's somebody around you that has serious regrets for hurting you. It could have to do with a child. Um, I'm not sure, but whatever it is, there's, there's going to be some sort of expression of love. And there's somebody that is 
uh, seeing you. They're watching you. They're, they see the, the love. They see the love within you. Especially if you're the Empress. They have done this before and they will continue to do so. A message is coming that you do not want to hear. Somebody may need some tender love and care and they see you as a mother. They see you as their, like a motherly type. Somebody may, they've done this before, they will continue to do so. This is a motherly energy. Somebody may be looking for some tender love and care. They need, they need some love and they're coming to you for love. They know that you'll take care of them. Or, if you are a masculine watching, that empress a feminine, okay? If you are a masculine watching this, you have an empress here that is got a lot. This person has is full of love. This person is a lover. This person is a mother. She does everything with love. She nurtures things. She grows things. She cooks. She cleans. She focuses on her home. She's very, very nurturing. So there is a mother here who also, she's a worker. She, pro, she, she also has a good job, whoever this mother is, whoever this woman is. This woman here... Uh, she really loves her children. Uh, she cooks. She's beautiful, okay? She, she probably gets a lot of attention. I mean, she loves animals. She takes care of animals. She takes care of children. She's, she loves dogs, okay? She, she's, um, there's flowers here, too. Somebody may be getting some flowers or giving flowers. There's roses, so there's definitely romance in the air. Anyhow, seven of pentacles reversed, lack of investment. This is unrealistic. That's a signifier card. So that's the middle card. This is unrealistic, dissatisfying. We have a dead end here. Something isn't growing. Relocation is needed. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. Over on their side is the Empress reversed and the Strength card reversed, the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. On your side, we have Judgment, Six of Wands reversed, the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Swords on the bottom. Ten of Swords is the end. It is the death. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is... Uh, painful separation. This is a betrayal. This is a mental or physical collapse. This is, uh, this is the end. Okay, this is the end. This is the, this is the ten of swords. It's, it's over. It's over. Something is over. This is a death. It is goodbye. So it is goodbye. Goodbye to a situation. What you don't see is that something is coming to an end. There's no going back. It's over. It's over. So something is coming to an end. Over on your side is judgment. Six of Wands reverse. So judgment is making a judgment call, seeing the truth, realizing the truth, an epiphany, a wake-up call, awakening of some sort. I feel like you're going through some sort of awakening. You're going through some sort of realization. This is a, no victories. Judgment reverse with the Six of Wands. I, okay, that's no victory. This is a failure. Somebody from your past may be wanting to reconcile with you. And this does, you know, there's a lot of people in your past. This could be a past employer. This could be a past friend. This could be a past lover. It's something where there was no victory in the past. There was no success. This person may be very smug. They maybe have a high ego. Um, they may be very cocky. This could be a one-hit wonder, right? This is uh, somebody that is all show that uh, has no staying power. I feel like you... Judgment. Judgment is realizing the truth. It is the end of things. Making a judgment call. There's somebody from your past may want forgiveness. They may want you to forgive them and you're going to have, maybe you need to forgive them. Maybe you need to um, release because judgment is a card of release. Accept, accept that there's not, there's this battle. This is losing a battle. Somebody is losing a battle. Six of Wands reversed. There's fighting. There's a lot of fighting. There's competition. A lot, you're dealing with somebody that is extremely competitive. They like to compete with you. 
this person is I don't know, it feels like you're dealing with somebody that likes to compete with you, they like to fight with you a lot. Um, Life-changing decision. There's, you are in the process of making a big decision. I feel like, I feel like right now you're overwhelmed. Your emotions, you're overwhelmed, you're distraught. Oh my God, why, why, why? And I think there's fear here, there's anxiety, there's... What should I do? What should I do about this? This is overwhelming. I feel like you're in a situation where there's a lot of drama, or there's a lot of competition, or there's a lot of fighting, or there's somebody from your past that is really, really challenging you. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like you're dealing with a loser, you know? I feel like you are. I feel like you're dealing with a loser who likes to fight with you or who likes to proposition you, who likes to keep you on your toes. Whoever you're dealing with needs constant attention. Anyhow, your emotions are going to be overwhelmed. I feel like you're going to be giving deep thought. I feel like you're going to be struggling with your, with your fears and your emotions during this next week. Oh my God, this is extremely stressful. It is. I feel like you've been in a situation where you've been, it's been some mental turmoil. Maybe you were trapped there or you were stuck there and you were choosing to stay in this situation. I feel like you've reached a point where you just want closure. You just want it to be over. You do. You do. You're dealing with somebody that uh, is very, very cocky, extremely cocky. It's not working out. There's no victory here. And you have to be honest with yourself. You do. You do have to be honest with yourself. So I think that I think that there's some sort of truth that is going to be revealed or you get some sort of awakening or epiphany about whoever it is that you're dealing with. And I feel like it's 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 heartbreaking, okay? It, Three of Swords underneath that Nine of Swords. This is heartbreaking. It's heartache. It's grief. It's separation. It's suffering. It's a rejection. It's a painful separation. It's a painful loss. And it is a loss. A Six of Wands reverse is a loss. It is the end of things. I feel like you are, something is definitely ending with that death card. It is coming to an end. This trial, this, this phase, whatever it is, it's coming to an end. I feel like it's painful. It is very painful. This is a painful separation that you're going through, but it's time. This is a dead end. There's, it's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. It is. It is. Whoever you're dealing with doesn't really value. They don't value you. Um, there's somebody that whoever you're dealing with, if you're, if you are a woman watching this, 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 if you are a feminine watching this, that you, whether you're whatever you are, whether you are a feminine watching this, you are dealing with a very cold hearted, aggressive individual who does not respect other people. The Empress reverse, strength reverse. This is in the King of Swords. Okay, this person is very controlling, obsessive, does not res. So this person doesn't respect women, okay? This person doesn't respect women. You know, this person is abusive, mentally abusive, is looking for somebody that is weak, okay? Is the strength reverse, the empress reverse, is looking for a weak feminine, somebody that they can walk on, somebody that they can control, somebody that um, doesn't know her value, okay? And if you are a masculine watching this, you are dealing, you are dealing with a woman that is very, very controlling. Same thing. There is somebody here that is very, male or female, that is very, very controlling. This person, whoever you're dealing with, this person was neglected or abandoned as a child. Maybe they have father issues, daddy issues, you know, um, or they were abused or as a child or neglected as a child or something like that. So now to obtain power, they disrespect and they control. I feel like you're, whoever's on this side is a narcissist. Whoever you're dealing with is, is, is very, uh, high maintenance. This person is always begging, 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 begging for attention, um, needs constant attention. This person, uh, 
likes to control. This person is mean. They're mean spirited. There are, but in reality, this person, and they may even have mother issues as well. Empress reversed. This person may not have been nurtured when they were a child. You know, they weren't taken care of at when they were a child. Mother and father issues. Um, or one or the other. There is somebody here that needs uh, tender loving care and they go about it the wrong way. Um, you're dealing with somebody that I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that well this person has serious control issues straight reverse empress reversed um, they may even be dealing with another woman especially if you if you are masculine or or feminine I feel like we have two women here there's two women so somebody may be dealing with two women um, There could be a termination. There could be a termination. There may be have somebody here that is terminating something. They're trying to exert themselves. They're trying to exert their power. They need help. Somebody needs help. They've been abandoned. They're abandoning. They may be ghosting you. Somebody may be ghosting you to hold on to their power. They're not communicating with you because they want power over you. They want to control you. You are dealing with somebody that is super controlling, that is looking for a weak individual. This person is looking for somebody that they can walk all over. So be very, 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 very careful. Um... It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Leo. You also have Taurus and Libra here. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be begging you. They're going to be begging you for something. They know that you have feelings for them. They may. This could be a narcissist that's trying to hang on. You know, they're trying to hang on to control. Um, This person is going to be saying something to you. They want, they may ask you for help. Somebody may ask you for help in some way. They may see your vulnerability. They may come after you when you're vulnerable. I don't know what is going on here, but there's vulnerability here. There is also somebody here that you're dealing with that, well, we do have, they have regrets. They have serious regrets for for hurting you. There is somebody here that I feel like they can't control it though. I feel like they do have regrets for, for, for hurting you, but this person has been so neglected and abandoned as a child of themselves that they can't control themselves. This person has ego issues. They, they, they do. They have control issues. They have some sort of need to feed, feed their ego. You know, they're in a state of mind where they need to be in the position where they are in complete control. So there's definitely somebody here that um, is doing, it's almost like giving the silent treatment or, or they're fighting. It could go either way to gain control. It's time to relocate. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. Now, some of you may have already relocated. Seven of Pentacles reversed. That is relocated. Plant or relocating. Planting your seeds someplace else, making a definite decision to do so. And maybe maybe whoever you're dealing with has made a definite decision because it's on their side. So somebody may have made, uh, there's definitely a decision here. Somebody has made a decision to relocate, but there's a need for help. And there's a father here or a father figure or somebody that is masculine that can help. We also have a mother here too, a motherly figure that might be able to help. But there's also abandonment from a father and a mother. So that's very, very, very interesting. Um, you're going to be receiving news or information from somebody that may make you weak, okay? You're going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted. Somebody may even be giving you an apology to gain control. So if I was you, I'd be very, 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 very careful. Oh, right in the middle. 
It came flying out to our major disruption. Shock, surprise, you are about to get a surprise, a big one, huge, huge surprise. There could be a sudden change, a sudden relocation, a fight, an argument, a disruption. This is a necessary evil. This is a forced, forced out, forced, forced to go, forced to make a change, forced to start over. So there's some sort of forced change here. Building a new, you're going to be building a new foundation someplace else, or or somebody that you're dealing with is. So this is a major life change. This is a shock. There could even be an internal disruption here. There is poor health with the strength reversed and the empress reversed. I mean, there is. There's poor health here. Somebody hasn't been nurturing. They haven't been taking care of them. Maybe they, you know, I don't know if they're not taking care of their children or they're not taking care of themselves. There is some poor health here. We also have a professional that is going to be giving somebody some information. Okay, this could be a doctor or somebody that is in security or somebody that, this is a professional, it's a man. We have a man that is going to be giving somebody some news. It's, it doesn't appear to be good news. I don't think it is. I do not think it is. They have serious regrets for hurting you. The end of things. It's the end of a battle. Somebody's giving up the battle. There's heartache. There's heart pain. There's grief. There's grieving. There is serious grieving here. The end. There is some ties that are going to be severed with the Five of Swords. We have a hostile situation here, but I think the hostile situation is coming to an end. This is a major disruption, could be a major fight. Walking away, somebody's getting pushed away, they're being forced away, this is non-negotiable. We have an individual that wants to win at all costs. This is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win. We definitely have some sort of intimidation here and abuse. We have an individual that has no morals. They have no morals. They have no conscience. They're looking for somebody that is weak, that doesn't know their value, and they're going to be doing something. Okay? They have done this before, and they will continue to do so. A message is coming that you don't want to hear. This fell right underneath it. You're going to be shocked by a message that is coming. There could be a reunion. There could be a reunion around the corner. But it could be between, you know, mother and father, you know, or, or family members, or mother and child, or whatever it is. There, I feel like there's a reunion. Maybe that's, maybe, you know, sometimes you can't help those kinds of things. Major disruption. Life-changing event. Get prepared because the Empress is literally right around the corner, which is a new life, a new beginning, a blessing. So there is a blessing that is coming. May not be what you expect the unexpected, okay? Definitely expect the unexpected. I feel like we have a battle here. We definitely have a battle. We have a fight. Somebody is leaving the battleground. They're leaving this fight. They're leaving. The fight is ending because the Six of Wands reverse is next to the Judgment card. That is the end of things. Somebody is being held accountable for their actions. Responsibility is being assigned. Six of Wands. There's, there's, this is a loss. It is a loss. We do have a loss. Somebody is losing. Um, heartbreaking separation. Giving up a battle. Giving up the fight. Can't do it anymore. Four of Swords reverse. That is extremely exhausted and fed up. I was I was clarifying that Three of Swords. I got the Four of Swords reverse. Can't do it anymore. And that's on your side. So I feel like you've reached a point where 
there's there's some sort of overwhelming it's it's like a, there's a need to heal a need you're gonna need to go within to heal take a time out you're gonna need to take a time out to heal from whatever this loss is five of swords reversed now this conflict is coming to an end. This battle is coming to an end. It really is. Somebody could be coming back around as well. Somebody that really, really hurt you. The world underneath the tower. Unbelievable. Just like that. That is a major completion of a cycle. The end. The end of a false sense of security. A false foundation. Seriously. This is like leaving every, leaving the past behind. Stepping into new territory. This is definitely the end of things. With the judgment card as well. Something big. Something that impacted your life in a very big way with the world card. This is like a marriage or a commitment or a job or a graduation. It's the end of something that taught you a huge life lesson. The whole foundation is crumbling and you're going to be starting over from scratch. You are going to be starting over from scratch no matter what. There's, I feel like there's going to be a change of resonance here or a change in your living situation. Nothing stays the same. This could be packing up, leaving the home, leaving the past behind, leaving something behind. You're going to be, and I don't know what it is. It may have something to do with children. There could be neglect. You may have some child, child or children, you know, that have been robbed of their innocence or I don't know what is going on, but there's child, there could be some child neglect here. Your life is definitely about to change. The past could be coming back, okay? Just saying, you're going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted, so... Know your value. We have the Empress reversed and then we have the Empress upright. What's it going to be? Are you a woman of value or not? And if you are a man watching this, you have two options. You can choose a woman of value. You can choose one that's not. What's it going to be? There's definitely two women here. No doubt about it. And we do have a man that is in the process or a masculine, however you want to do it, you know, is making a choice right now. And there's going to be a massive change. There is. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. You are in a position of authority, but you may not know it. You have to make a choice based on who you have become. With that world card, it's about your evolution, the lessons that you have learned. Major completion of a cycle. Whoever you're dealing with is not being taken care of. They're not being taken care of. Or they weren't taken care of. And now they may be begging you for some sort of attention. Whoever this person is, they need some tender, loving care, and they're going to be knocking on your door. Or contacting you or something like that. I don't know who this person is, but somebody needs some attention. Could be a child. Could be one of your children. I don't know. Could be a neglected child that needs your help. Good luck. <laughs> 